What up campers? We got a wedding to go to and instead of staying in a hotel, we're taking the old tenement on wheels. So saddle up for Saddle Mountain Ranch RV Park. Let's, Let's get, get it. it. All right, we made it to Saddle Mountain Ranch. It's like a little bit after sunrise. I'm out here exploring the hiking trails. Can you believe it? Yeah, I think it's a private hiking trail because it says nobody but campers or registered guests, but you can kind of walk your way up a mountain. I'm about three quarters of the way up there and uh, birds chirping, life is good. I would say it's mostly a cabins and tent camping area, but they do have RV. The campground itself is pretty small. The RV sites seem to just be in a row, all lined up in front of the office. It's full hookup, so we got all the, all the goodies going. Many showers as we want. I think the one we got, 18, is the absolute best one, but uh, let's take a look at the spots. So yeah, the one we got is obviously nice and big and it has that big grassy area that you can hang out in, uh, which is a bonus. Most of the other spots I think are, are just that kind of dirt piece, but we have that extra little living room area where you set up the fire pit, bonus. You're not allowed to have wood burning fires, but they do give you this killer fire pit that you can do the Duraflames in. They provide a grill for every site. Some of them they even give you the Weber kettle grill. We've all got this little like divider-ish area between each site. And again, 18 is bomb because you get this big giant living area. Lots of nice views directly out of the back of your site. They do have a bunch of cabins um, and they have a ton of tent camping. So it seems to be a pretty popular spot for the tent campers. The cabins they have seem to be really popular with families and so our kids are enjoying that too. There's also another RV park just right down the road. I think it's called like Carmel River something RV. I'll put it up. does have a ton of amenities. Yeah, the kids really loved the pool. Uh, they were playing all those games. There was other kids here. For us, it's nice that they're just having all that stuff to keep them busy. Ping pong, bags, uh, badminton, foosball, basketball courts. Uh, you know, the kids are in heaven. So that's the thing. The kids really like RV resorts like this one. But yeah, we would be uh, remiss if we didn't mention the price, $130 a night. That is the absolute most expensive campground we've ever stayed at. Um, you know, it's it's very nice and well kept, and the managers or owners or whoever are, are super nice, and it's a very nice park, but it's just, uh, you know, a little bit outside of the budget of what we normally like to spend. If we weren't coming for uh, a wedding and having Nadia's folks with us, we probably wouldn't have just come here for a vacation just because it's it's too expensive for us. But other than that, it's it's really nice. And like I said, the kids really enjoyed all the amenities. Um, the hiking trail's pretty cool. You're close to Carmel too. So if you wanna go out and explore um, the Monterey Bay and Carmel and all that stuff, then um, you could definitely do that from this location. I think 30 feet and under is the limit. So uh, all those big rockwoods, sorry guys, but uh, keep that in mind. We managed to get them to squeeze us in 
even though we're 32 feet 11 inches but this is the only site that works for a trailer um, 30 feet or over so just a heads up not for everyone if you like it then give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing other than that we'll see you on the next adventure